everyone thanks for watching the video so i came down to this basement today and i hear this hissing sound and uh, walk over to the washer and here's what we've got we've got this flooded basement so um immediately knew that there was a leak so well, i didn't know it was the washing machine at first actually i might i thought it was uh one of these lines up here um one of these copper pipes because a lot of times they'll have pinhole leaks in them uh, but uh, that's all good so uh, came back here notice this bucket right here next to the washing machine was filled up um, that is there for a drain leak actually um, it was repaired uh, but uh, yeah that's filled up so I thought that was kind of weird and what happened is one of these fill hoses was spraying there and all over the floor so we have a leaking washing machine fill hose let's go ahead and turn it on so we can see hear that I'm guessing this was yeah I don't want to grab it like I said it's hot where is it I can't exactly identify okay yeah like right there against the wall that's what the leak is at and so yeah it's closer to the washing machine itself Um, yeah, I'm thinking that uh, this is probably six hours plus that's been doing that. Um, so, it could be worse, most definitely. But again, you know, it could be, it could be better as well. All right, so we're going to have to remove this. Um, I can't get it off with a channel with my channel locks or even a vice grip. You can see that's 25, 30, 35 years of, of rust buildup. So we are going to use this Dremel. Um, I've never done this job before. So I'm not a plumber, so but that's that's the go-to for me at this time. I mean, uh, we'll see what happens how well it works all i'm using is a um it's like aluminum luminous oxide uh cut off disc i probably i've got two or three of them because i'm probably going to go through that and maybe even break it i'm gonna get a mask because this definitely stinks and of course some eye protection so um got it plugged up right here this is variable speed i believe this is made out of a uh, i'm not sure if that's uh uh, brass or if it's like uh, I think it's uh, just metal steel with play a uh, plating Here's a look at what I'm trying to do. So I made one or two cuts in there. Doesn't take long to really make a cut, uh, but you can see how much uh, corrosion there. So what I'm doing is taking, um, taking this, and uh, or you could use a screwdriver and just trying to you know pry it up away. But it looks like I'm gonna have put another. I'm gonna have to put another section here, maybe back here, and just kind of take my time um, cutting this apart.
All right, as you can see, got it moving now. Put some PB Blaster on it. If I have to, I will. Yeah, let's go ahead and cut this hose because it's kinking up. I'm going to see if we can cut this. I'm going to use two hands to just about got it. Yeah, I don't want to stress that fitting and pipe. Okay, you can see where I nicked it. Hopefully that won't leak. We'll find out. I will be putting Teflon tape on that. And as you can see, I'm just using some uh, emery cloth um, steel wool to uh, kind of... And you don't want to use too much of that either. You wear the... I don't know what this... I think this is... Uh, I think this is a uh, four aught. All right, so I think we're good. Put some Teflon tape on that. Hopefully, we'll be all right. And here's the other end attached to the washing machine. Since I've got a pretty sharp knife, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it off now. And there goes my light. It's really been hard to set up with the camera for this job and also uh, lighting. All right, so uh, this one looks pretty good. I don't see any kind of build up. I'm gonna grab it right there. Channel locks. Awesome, okay. Now we decide if we want to use another rubber line, which I do have a, a rubber line. But it's de probably deteriorated. I mean, we haven't had any water run through it, but uh, it's not cracking. Could probably use it. However, I do have this, the other one. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one and look what the name of it is, Flood Safe. So, uh, stainless steel, it's 48 inches three-quarter hose, three-quarter hose. So we'll go with this one, and I think we'll be in better shape. So I've had an update. Both of those lines, those old lines that were hanging back there, were unusable. So I went to big box store and bought two of these lines. Um, these should be leak-proof as far as bursting. Uh, you got the blue for the cold and then you got the red for the uh, hot and uh, this talk cost me around 35 36 bucks so uh, five foot I'm gonna go ahead and ever built so we'll go ahead and put these on and uh, see if uh, these are gonna work out here's the way that you want the hose to look like this right here not like that And not like that. I'm going to start at the machine and put the line on. through. I'm going to go on the other side and we're going to 
put it on right here. So I got this one on. It was kind of at an angle, so kind of difficult to get started. So looking good. Water is on, no leaking. Yeah, no leaking, cool. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change out the other side. I don't think the other side's gonna be as bad, but uh, if it is, I'll have to do the same uh, procedure using the Dremel. Okay, I have loosened, loosened the hose a little bit, so yeah, this side is not going to be nearly as bad. Great. And this hose, you know, probably would have uh, been okay for a long time, but uh, heck, I got two hoses, two new ones, so why not? Use them. See, it's supposed to turn like that so you don't have to have the hose twisting. Beautiful. It's nice using new parts, and you know they're new. Big relief. Okay, let's put the end here. Actually, I'm gonna put some Teflon there. Got our Teflon tape on. Come on. Turn it on, we'll look for leaks. Excellent. So that'll be it for replacing the fill lines, washing machine fill lines, that is hot and cold, uh, especially if you're having difficulty getting one off that maybe has been rusted on there for a long time. That's how I did this. I um, hope it's been helpful somehow, and maybe you can uh, take away from it something. Um, also, don't take old hoses or hoses that you're not sure are good and just lay them up there. Um, that might not be a good idea when someone's uh, thinking they're good. Um, another thing I would say is if you do have the rubber hoses on, it's probably a good idea to turn them off each time you do your laundry. I'm going to try to start doing that. Actually, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble with these lines because they're not rubber, but um, that would be a good habit to get into. Um, and definitely if you're going to be leaving for a long period of time, even a day. For example, all that water that was, tw I'm guessing, 24 to 30 gallons of water that had, you know, just poured out of here with that hose uh, that was leaking. And we have some that came back today uh, that was, I guess, still back there. And it just kind of made its way uh, kind of in the middle here. So, uh, yeah, uh, make sure, if, like if you go on a vacation or something, you turn these off, especially if you have those rubber hoses. All right, thank you for watching the video. Until next time, have a nice day. Take care.